look at this. Speaking of that Mille Fiore Murano that we just talked about in the last video, here is another all day. Okay, here is a celluloid. <gasps> it's missing one jump ring, but oh my gosh, we can fix that in a heartbeat. Look at this carved celluloid pendant masterpiece. Oh my word. It is very lightweight. That's how I know it's celluloid. <gasps> okay, I'm going to show you and then you guys are going to guess the designer. And that made me go, oh. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can guess based off of the style because I do think that it looks like it. Um, okay, you guys ready? These are yeah, if you guys are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like <laughs> like button, subscribe button, all the things, and join our Facebook group page. These clips are beautiful. These, ooh, these are West Germany beauties. These are gonna bring a little bit more money than <laughs> regular clip-ons. <gasps> and these are the Givre glass. Are they glass? Wait, let's see. Yes! I think these are the Givre glass. <gasps> Okay, these are, these are getting more special as we look at them. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and sometimes whatnot. And I sell a lot of jewelry. I sell some shoes and purses and belts and other things like that, but we are here for the jewelry. I have a giant, giant. This probably is gonna be an over an hour long um, video. So yes, giant jewelry buyout haul. Um, I didn't really look through this. I had a neighbor who reached out to our um, neighborhood community and said, does anyone buy cost vintage costume jewelry or something along those lines? And I was like, me, I'm the one. And so I asked her to buy the whole lot and I wanted it to be a surprise. So we're going to go through it. We have a ton. So sh what she did is she kind of like thrifted and collected some jewelry. Um, one thing in particular is she said that there's like a Gucci watch with the interchangeable um, <clears throat> rings on it that's pretty popular. So see if we can find it. Um, but I wanted to get through this so that my kids are not tempted to go through it because it, I mean it looks really tempting. Like all these open um, trays and things like that are so interesting. Um, she did also give me some purses and things like that, but I think we're here for the jewelry. Um, I think that's the most interesting thing. She also gave my kids like a big thing of buttons, vintage buttons. So there might be some buttons interspersed because they were playing with the buttons as they do. So let's get into this jewelry. I am so excited, uh, to go through this big haul with you guys. There we go. So this is the first like box situation um, that kind of got jostled around a little bit, but I kind of or reorganized it. And I see a lot of clip-on earrings, which I love listing. They are so easy. So we are just gonna go through that. I am going to show you things that I'm definitely gonna list. And then the maybes are just gonna go on the maybe. Maybe I'll research them later. And then some things might just be craft, like they'll be passed on to jewelry crafters or um, they're nice enough that people can even like resell them if they want to. But yeah, oh, I'm looking at this right away. You guys, I'm like noticing this. This is a Monet and I just bagged up two necklaces that had the same exact clasp. One was long and one was short. So I was like, should I list them together? So I think I put them in the same bag. Maybe I'll put this one in there too. So it's a glass pearl hand knotted Monet necklace. So this one has a little bit more verdigree on these little hardware pieces, but I think I will still list that. So I'm gonna put that in my, yes. Look at this. Speaking of that Mille Fiore Murano that we just talked about in the last video, here is another 
Uh, super gorgeous glass. Love these little pieces of melted flowers, <laughs> melted glass. And I'm not sure if this one is super vintage because look at the clasp. It's a lobster, lobster clasp. But this is a beautiful green color. These are very popular. So this one is a definite. Yes. <clears throat> okay, what is this? This looks a bit twisted, tangled. Okay, I see a little clasp right here. And it looks like it's Monet. And this is like a brushed silver, brushed silver tone. Um, and so it looks a little bit more modern. Okay, so it looks like it has all these faux pearl stations, which are really pretty. There is some wear. So do you see how the silver tone is different? I'm wondering if it, that's on purpose. I'm not sure. So this one I'm going to do um, as a maybe. I'm not sure if that is purposeful or not or what we can do about that. So that one is going in my maybe. Okay, we have, ooh, this sparkling rhinestone bracelet. Not sure if this one is vintage either, but they are prong set rhinestones with these baguette rhinestones. Very sparkly, very comfortable. I think I will list this. It's very comfortable, it's nicely made, it's very sparkly, I like it. So that one is a yes. What is this? Okay, another bracelet. It has a leather cord and then this like buckle, I'm sorry, this toggle closure with a button. Rhinestones are all woven I think someone would really like it. There's no mark, but it's really interesting and sparkly. I'm not sure if this one's vintage either, but I think it's beautiful. Lovely. Not like grody or anything like that. So yeah. Okay. Here is another bracelet. It says there's a saddle and a horse in Colorado. Lucky. Um, anything on the back? Oh, this just came off. Let's see if I can get that thing back on. All right, I'm probably gonna put this into a bag and then make sure it doesn't lose um, the rest of the bracelet. Yeah, I don't see any marks, but I think I definitely will still sell this. I think there are horse lovers, people that love Colorado. I love Colorado. So I'm just gonna put this into this bag so that I don't lose that little piece when I'm listing it. And I believe this is maybe like pewter. I don't think it's silver, like sterling or anything. So that one is a yes. Okay, we have two bangles and one, oh, they're both crown trifari. Okay, so that's a little bit older. So we have this gold tone textured bangle and the Crown Trifari with the crown over it. I'll put the dates up for Crown Trifari up on the screen. Um, and I also have the dates in the Maker's Mark file in our Facebook group for the Trifari different markings. Um, yeah, let's focus. Okay, so we get the picture. Crown Trifari on both of them, and then this one is like a red enamel. So lovely. People might be looking that to match one of their like Crown Trifari pieces that they already own and they want like a complete set or something that will complement it. Oh, we have a sterling silver sticker that was on here, but I'm not sure if this is sterling. Let's see. <laughs> we have a little sticker. Okay, this, oh, I love this bolo style. And oh, it's so smooth. It's marked Monet. Look at, look, look. I love this when jewelry does it where it's like butter, buttery smooth, high quality. And it has all these beautiful little dangles and it's marked Monet on the clasp and it's marked Monet on the back of this bolo. So uh, this is a definite yes. I love this so much. Woohoo, I love that one. Okay, we have these big blue clippies, which are, again, these are the trout, the Crown Trifari 
big bold blue acrylic clip-ons. Okay, we love those. Which what are these? These are Napier and these are yeah, the screwback clips. And they look kind of like an Art Deco style with the white and the gold. That is a yes. So easy to list. So easy to list. Okay, let's grab out these. We have a pewter heavy uh, Mickey and Minnie set. <laughs> or are these both mini? They're, are they the same? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Um, they were stamped from something. Molded. The, the There's design on the back. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are these resellable? I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. We're going to put that in maybe. Okay. We have the, ooh, these are some nice heavy duty clips. Let's see. Ooh, they are marked W and H. I have a feeling that these are something. Oh, so you see how this is cracked? Like, I'm just going to take that whole thing out because it is very brittle. And then I'm just going to sell them without this ear cushion, <laughs> this ear thing. And so it's just going to be like that. But it says W and H in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put W and H clip-on earrings, W and H fish clip-on earrings, something along those lines. I'm going to take this one out too. Very, very brittle. This plastic or whatever. But yeah, these, even if um, I don't figure out the brand, these are some nice artisan pieces with really nicely made and quality materials. So yeah, nicely made earrings. <clears throat> Ooh, we, are, we have like almost all yeses. <gasps> Look at this. This is going to be popular. So these are all faux stone. And like we have some swirled plastic. And then we have like this faux. Mm, did someone replace that? It looks like maybe someone put something else in here that might have fallen out. Because it's, it's not the correct shape and I'm wondering if it was supposed to be yellow. Oh bummer. This was so pretty. I'm gonna have to think on that like because um yeah we'll put that in the maybe because it's repair. Oh okay this 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 might be really old. This might be an old piece. This feels very delicate. I'm thinking it's probably sterling silver. Let me show you. Um, and it has like this button clasp thing. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. I'm wondering what does it say? Okay. It says, wow. It says Fisher's Snap. Fisher's Snap which that might only be the Snap Company, but I don't know if that is the bracelet. Um, I want, the bracelet's not marked, but I do want to see if it's sterling silver. So I have my stone. We're going to test it with our 18 karat. Let's see if... It's possibly sterling. Maybe I will also test the class since we are here. Okay, so it's scratching more coppery than I think is sterling. So yeah, it just, it, it, the lines completely went away really quickly. So not sterling, but gorgeous. And it, it looks very old, so. Um, I'm really curious to research that more. Put that in the yes. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love, love. I'm not even going to look at the back yet to see what these are. But look at this big faux pearl and AB rhinestones. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, these are faux pearls. Okay. Oh, they're not even marked. Wow, they're not marked and they're this gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I love these. These probably were marked um, in the set, but yeah, now they're not marked, but these are gorgeous. I love those. Those are a yes. Where's the other one? Oh, a little like pointed snail shell with faux pearl dangle. Looking on the back. Yeah, it's like a matte gold tone. So I'm thinking like 1980s. They're not marked on the back. I would think that these are like Liz Claiborne or something just based off of like the colors. So yeah, these are glass pearls as well. So they're nice and heavy. This is a quality piece. I'm wondering if the backings actually said the brand. I'm, I'm going to see what Google Lens tells me. Yes. Google friend. It, Google friend. Oh my gosh. I cannot say words today. <laughs> Google Lens is your friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope I'm entertaining at least. Um, here is a Napier bracelet. It is marked Napier on this tag. A little bit more modern. And it has this like um, life preserver or life saver um, clasp. And it's just a simple link. So yeah, I'm going to sell that one. Okay, so we got a new battery, we're back. Let me show you these. Oh, these are so sparkly and beautiful. So sparkly, yeah, very beautiful. Monet, are they? Wait a second. So when I see this um, cl um, clip in the back, the shape, I automatically think Monet, but. Oh, yeah, it is Monet still, but it's like the, the more stylized Monets and not Monet and not the black letter Monet. So it's a little bit harder to read, but these are gorgeous. So a little bit more modern, but um, I think still vintage. Vintage is 2004 and before. So those are lovely. I love those. Oh, look at these. These are marked Trifari with the circle around it. Look at how MCM these look. Wow. These are dangles. I love those. Okay, those are a yes. And these are Crown Trifari. Wow, these are the white enamel hoops. These are Crown Trifari as well. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have <laughs> a lot of fun listing all of these clip-on, screw-back, pierced earrings. Okay. So these are some, again, some screw back, but clips, which are very comfortable. Um, these are Napier, marked Napier in two different places. And these are just some silver tone um, earrings. Looks like we have some gold tone hoops. I, yep, these are Monet. Man, I have like a lot of Monet gold tone hoops now. So here are some more. These are a little bit smaller, a little bit more dainty. We have those. Ooh, look at these atomic looking. Look, 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 look. These are layered and this has texture on the top and then um, just flat on the bottom. These are marked Emmons. There is wear. So I'm gonna see if these are, this is actually like wear wear, a discoloration or if it can be cleaned, but yeah. The back has wear. I still think these are fabulous. Like, look at these. Look at those. Those are Jetson <laughs> vibes. Those are so cool. Love those. Right, let's get this bracelet. Um, what, what is happening here? So it's like mesh, big giant rhinestone, but it's, um, the back, there's backing on it. Then it has this, which like looks like forged metal or something. I don't know whether to call it artisan or what. I think I'm going to sell it. It is 
big bling beautiful something and it feels like it's well made so that is another reason I'm saying yes okay we have this chain which is like a unisex very heavy 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 chain you guys can just even tell in the video um are you marked so I don't see any mark on the clasp anywhere but that does not deter me this is a nice thick heavy high quality feeling bracelet so that one is a yes okay next Ooh, we have these like stylized leaves right here textured silver tone there by the brand let's see lisner oh they, this would match a lot of those um like bracelets that have the leaves the lisner bracelets or the lisner chokers so that's nice these are screw backs okay here are some more leaves and these are more m-o r r e y i have not sold that brand before but yeah these are in good condition they are the screw and the clips so to make them super comfortable and yeah i can see these selling in a bundle like on poshmark okay these might be monet oh oh they're like the textured silver so like brushed silver tone and yes these are monet they're marked right in there monet and these are very nice. Yes, okay. We have these small guys. We have this one is marked Crown Trifari. Little Crown Trifari clips, silver tone clips. And then what are these? Are these even marked? Um, they're little clips and all they are are just these little tiny balls to make them look like studs. So these are going to go in the maybe, and then these are going to go in the yes. Because I think it would be harder to sell those. They're not super searchable. Okay, we have Monet again. Like abstract something is going on here. <laughs> in their clips, yes. We have little ball and Monet again little ball stud cl um, clip ons yes we have crown trifari they are like more elongated hoops and they're textured on the inside ooh okay those are a yes okay we have this bangle oh it's Monet haha -ha. it just looks like a plain well I mean not super plain but it looks like a simple bangle that is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an octagon. Um, and it's marked Monet with an L, which means this is a size large bangle. I would need an extra large because this is probably going to be stuck if I try any farther. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be selling that. I like that. Okay, this one is really cool look at these this stone and it has like brass beads it feels really heavy it's a stretch and the stretch is a little sad <laughs> but this flower is amazing oh 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 there it goes okay good thing i tested it we're putting this in craft someone is going to love crafting with this they can definitely take that flower just even making this into a pendant with those beads oh or choker that would be cool okay so that's going into craft for whomever all right this is another Monet look at this little 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 tiny little dangles these are clippies yes all right we have these are crown trifari they are just faux pearl on chains yes okay last <coughs> in this box these have their degree on them and they are Lisner I'm gonna put these in the maybe because they're not like super well you know but and there is bare degree so I'm gonna, uh, meh. we're gonna put them in the maybe okay I'm gonna close up this box because these are just bags okay let's open up oh 
let's open up some of these bags. Oh, does this match the $1 label on this? Does this match that Napier? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, this is Joan Rivers. Never mind. I was thinking this matched that Napier. Oh, that Napier. What am I even saying? Bracelet. But this is a Joan Rivers, which I think is more sellable online. So then what is this? This is a triple chain. And then this is the necklace. Oh, lovely, lovely, love, love, love. And the gold is just like it, it looks like brand new. It is bright and beautiful and like hardly anywhere. There was like a $1 sticker on this bag. If she got this for $1, that is a, that is one great deal right there. So yay, that is awesome. Okay, next. Oh, these feel so nice. Oh, these feel so nice. These are statement. These are statement earrings. And then, okay, this is why they feel so nice. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Look. Look. You guys see on there? So it has this really, really nice thing that I hardly ever see on clip-on earrings. It's like a rubber cap. It's marked Signer. Signer is a vintage bolo brand. It is hot. Um, and it's also marked Signer on the inside. So these are a definite score. Big, bold Signer clip-on earrings. And these are ready to wear today. Like these are not out of style for, you know, someone who likes to look really fashionable in business and things like that. <gasps> Weiss, I see Weiss right here in this bag. All right, I kind of want to open more bags now. <laughs> Let's go find some more. <gasps> They're be blue and beautiful and prong set and lovely. Oh my gosh. So sparkly. They're like teardrops, but going upward, like the water's evaporating up to the sky. Oh, we love these. Oh, we love these. These are gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so we had Joan Rivers, we had we had Weiss, we had Signer in this bag. Okay, hi. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. All right, probably with just the jewelry I've gone through is I'm making my money back from what I paid and I have so much more to show you. All right, we have coral. Ooh, these feel nice. These are actually metal beads. So they look like the chunky West Germany cluster, but they're actually a lot heavier. They're marked coral. So yes, we are going to sell those. Nice. Okay, we have another flat of jewelry. So it looks like these are all of the bands that go on the Gucci watch. I don't know where the watch is. Um, so hopefully it's in here somewhere, but that looks like the rings that go on it. Um, she got these. I'm gonna definitely use these for my daughter's hair. I think these are more like, you get them at the state fair, things like that. These are modern. Maybe they will be future vintage because they are beautiful. Little peacocks. And my girls have a lot of hair like I do. Um, I have really long hair. So yeah, I can definitely do updos and accent with the birds. Okay, so we're going to, this one is much less organized, but we will see what we all have here. Okay. Ooh, there's some rings right there. What are these? Ooh. What, what, what? Look at that. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, cameos. Okay. So it looks like Ray-Bans. And yeah, we have like some older style. These are prescription, so I'd have to sell them as um, frames only. And then they would take out... That, but some Ray-Bans came with that. Oh, and also 
thought that this purse, I thought it was really neat to show you. Look at this texture. Very groovy with this like um, Lucite handle. Lucite handle purses actually do really well. So this is a ginormous vintage tote bag with this interesting, it might be um, handmade from the, I don't know, 60s is what I'm guessing. All right, this one is kind of speaking to me. <gasps> Monet. It is matte gold with rhinestone accents. Wow, that is a three dimensional brooch. It's not in perfect condition, but it definitely is gorgeous. And all the rhinestones are there. That is lovely. Love that. Love. Okay, what are you? This one is Erica Lyons, which is the E and the L right here. This one has a really nice rhinestone bobble bead right here. Um, speaking of bobbles, I follow someone, um, her channel is Blessed Bobbles. She's kind of new to YouTube, but she does a lot of unboxings and she gave me a shout out so I will give her a shout out blessed baubles and yeah go ahead and follow her tell her Rachel <laughs> Lily work sent you and so yeah this one has a lot of baubles um and I definitely am going to sell that it's not like a super high-end um, brand but it will eventually sell okay so we have some bezel set um maybe crystals maybe glass see what it says so here's the hang tag that says nothing and then this one says made in Korea and then on the back it says ML uh, gorgeous people really love bezel set necklaces Dawn from Hudson Vintage calls the well the ones that she picked up Swarovski even though they weren't marked Swarovski so I'm not that confident to call these Swarovskis so I don't know but I'll have to research this further and see what I come up with okay oh oh I thought these were together wouldn't that be so cool if they were together doesn't that look so nice wonder if you could wonder if you could wear these together like that that looks really nice I have discovered something some fashion statement that is cool okay so taking these apart this kind of jewelry I find, um, you can call it brutalist, right? Because it's very um, primitive and almost masculine. Um, but this kind of jewelry where they solder metal together, I find at um, like craft fairs and flea markets and things like that. So it, it's like artisan, but it's not like super well made. And then this one is lovely, no marks. But look at all this like filigree work. This one is a definite yes. It probably had a sticker saying what it was at one point. So I kind of want to keep those together because that was so cool. All right, we have this one again, same same thing with this, um, like, a, like a handmade type of piece. <clears throat> and this one will not fit me. So I'm gonna put these both in the maybe. And then while I'm putting that in the maybe, this one was like screaming at me, like sparkling and saying hello. Why hello there. Look at this. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This is, this is to die for. Um, and it's not marked, but I feel like it's something. I feel, it feels really nice. It is really well made. These are prong set AB rhinestones and a very interesting shape. Yes, all day, yay. Okay, love that. Oh, what is this? This, <laughs> what? Okay, so it has two, two pins. What would you wear this? Like, what? It, like, would this be, like, a blinged out, um, chaplain? Like, where they have, like, that white part? <laughs> I don't know. On their collar? Um, if you guys know, let me know. I have no idea. But that's gonna be a yes. I don't even care if I have to sell it as a brooch. That is pretty awesome. 
Okay, we have this one that could be a pendant or a brooch. It's a flower, not prong set rhinestones, um, but I do like that it's a pendant and a brooch. More modern. It kind of looks like a clover. Um, I'm gonna put this in the maybe. Okay, we have this stretch. The stretch feels like it's almost gone. Put that in craft. We have this. It's a leaf bracelet. It looks like it is tarnished like silver, but meant to look that way. I don't think this is sterling. Um, I do think that this is very cool, though. So I'm going to sell that one. All right, we have a bag. Should we see what's in this bag? All right, Whiting and Davis. Ooh, these are some Whiting and Davis. Really, really interesting berry and leaf earrings. They actually go like this. Fun. Yes, I love these. Okay, yay. Okay, what is this? Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, this is like confetti, lucite, rhinestones. Oh, coro, it's coro. I'm wondering if this is like a more unique coral piece. Honestly, look at the colors. And I believe that's called confetti lucite. Oh, the metal is a little bit bent right here. I'm wondering if I can bend it back. Okay. All right, I bent it back a little bit, but not all the way, because um, it's it's in good shape besides that. So, yes, this is a definite, yes. <gasps> what is this? What it, oh, that's not it. This is it. <gasps> what? Okay, this is a Carol Lee, oh, oh, oh. I want to Google Lens this. I'm going to Google Lens this and be right back. Okay, <clears throat> we are back. I also went to the bathroom, so got a little bit of a break. Um, there's only one that has sold that I can find. And they sold it for $50 on Poshmark. And this looks like a stylized fleur-de-lis or an abstract fleur-de-lis. The thing that is so special are these jewel-toned um, rhinestones glass. And that they you can see all the way through them. This is a high quality piece. I can see something like this selling for like 150. I mean, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm gonna put this in my uh, collection and price it for 150. And if someone wants to make me a great offer or buy it for 150, then they want it for their collection more than I do. But that's how much I value <laughs> this in my collection. Um, this is gorgeous. I love this so much. Okay. <clears throat> this one looks more modern, but it looks like a really nice wedding spray brooch. Maybe Mother of the Bride or something like that. I think that this would look really nice. And it has AB rhinestones. Lovely, lovely. Faux pearl. Really great shape. Yes. Okay, we have this etched heart cuff. Looks very like cowgirl. Um, are you marked? I don't see any markings, but I'm still gonna sell it. This is lovely, and I'm definitely definitely putting like cowgirl in the title. Okay. Oh, oh, we have a blinged out seal. Okay, <laughs> this is so interesting i don't see any marks okay you guys let's let's just admire this um okay and he has a green eye and some black enamel wow yep we're selling him he will be fun what is this okay this goes in with this bag so is this a belt <gasps> love selling belts love selling vintage belts okay and is it marked? Yes, a Liz Claiborne. Okay. Vintage Liz Claiborne square and circle gold and silver tone chain belt. I love selling chain belts. So that will be a yes. I usually sell them around like $19.99, $17.99. Oh, 
all day. Okay, here is a celluloid. <gasps> it's missing one jump ring, but oh my gosh, we can fix that in a heartbeat. Look at this carved celluloid pendant masterpiece. Oh my word. It is very lightweight. That's how I know it's celluloid. Wow. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just, that, that needs to be protected. We're gonna protect that over there. Is this another chain belt? <gasps> Wait, are there, are there more? Are there more chain belts? Okay, okay, I'm excited. <gasps> this is a, a lion crest. Oh, and this is a Liz Claiborne. So this is another mark for Liz Claiborne is the LC with the crest. And then look at this. Oh, I can imagine this one selling for like, 30 to $50. This is something special. Maybe even more. I mean, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to more than that, but that's what I would guess just right off the bat. This is, this is a statement piece right here. This is like royal preppy statement loveliness. Okay. Yes. Like this would match the Liz Claiborne or Ralph Lauren crest jackets. Okay, what is this? Okay, we have a lady, an open work lady with a purse, and she has a big hat on. She has a rhinestone for an earring. Are you marked? It is marked. This is a JJ. Okay, this is a JJ. Love that. That one is a giant one. I'm going to say yes for that one. Okay, we have some, I'm gonna put the bangles over here because I see a belt. Oh, this goes with the belt. This is a gunmetal gray belt. It looks like, um, it is marked Nine West. Oh, I just sold a gunmetal gray Nine West chain belt this past weekend. Love that. That one is a yes all day. Is this a belt as well? Um, I, yep, it is, I believe. <laughs> it has that long chain so that it can be adjustable. And then this one is not marked, but that's okay because they still sell even though they're not marked. It has so many different strands. So multi-stranded chain belt. Yes. Wow. 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 Wait, is this a chain belt? Okay. I don't even know what this is, but it's marked N J D. And then there's a little tag on the back. Oh, oh, this is Norma G. Oh, this is going to be worth some money. This is going to be worth some money, you guys, because I sold earrings for, I think $35. And this is a necklace. Okay, this is good. I'm so happy. Okay, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> awesome. Yay. Okay, we have this that kind of looks like peacock feathers. And on the mark, it just says Coventry, which means it's a Sarah Coventry piece with a faux stone. Faux stone. Yeah, going to sell this. I know I have the bracelet for these because my girls took it out. So I'm going to find that. <laughs> Okay, we have um, one of those Adelink charms. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay. And here is a stretch bracelet. And I just looked to see if it's marked. It's not, and I'm always worried, especially with storing stretch belts, unless it's in excellent condition, I usually don't sell it. So I'm gonna put that in craft for somebody else. Oh, is this a chain? Oh, I think it's a chain belt. Okay. Again, it's not marked, but look at how pretty this little hook is. Black rhinestones. Yeah, lovely. That is a yes. Oh, what is this? What is that? Stop. I'm so glad I'm going through this with you guys for like the first time because I'm so excited about all this stuff. Look at this belt buckle little faux pearl cha-cha dangles. This is gorgeous. And here's the back for the belt. 
oh I love not marked but I don't even care they're blue yeah little cha-cha oh love 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 okay this one was a bracelet and I believe this is bezel set plastic <clears throat> but it's vintage and I even though it has this clasp on the lobster class I can still tell that it is vintage so um, that just comes from handling a lot of jewelry <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this in the yes okay we have this that has a ribbon running through it and it's missing one two it's missing two rhinestones here and those are supposed to be clear so you can't really tell but it's not marked and I don't, I'm not going to take the time to fix those when it's, eh, I'm going to put this in the maybe, honestly, because it is really pretty. It is pretty. Okay, next, ooh, we have a dolphin. Let's see. So it's interesting because it's a dolphin right here and then it wraps all the way around and then, then its tail comes onto the other side. Ah, that's weird. So I'm going to put that in the maybe. Okay, we have this mother of pearl um, inlaid bangle. We have, oh, another mother of pearl. It's pink inlaid bangle. So that might be nice to stack together. Oh, and here's another one. Okay, so those three. Oh, that, yes, yes. All day, yes. Look at those three together. We have like a seafoam green, pink, blue. Yes. That is, I like that. I like that choice. <laughs> if they were all single, then I would have to think about it. Okay, we have this bangle. I'm looking for any marks that I do not see. Where is my magnet? Here it is. Okay, not magnetic. Put that in the maybe. Test that later. Um, okay, so we have this like abstract chunk of a clamper. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. We are going to put this in the maybe, not marked. <clears throat> okay, we have this. This has a safety chain, so this is a good sign um, so that it doesn't fall off. We have a textured layer. Um, a textured silver tone layer and then this is marked let me see it's marked oh this is a Whiting and Davis a Whiting and Davis bangle nice I'm wondering do these go with the earrings I don't know okay here's another Gucci thing then we have a sterling silver whale tail Put that with that charm. We have this charm, pewter. Okay, here's another bangle. And it's just another chunky thing. Probably matches that other one. All right, let's see what's in this bag. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna show you and then you guys are gonna guess the designer. And that made me go, <gasps> Let's see if you guys can guess based off of the style because I do think that it looks like it. Um, okay, you guys ready? These are Christian Dior. These are Christian Dior clip-on vintage earrings. Yes, 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 yes. All the rhinestones are there. I could put these on auction. These will be bid up. I might just set it at a high price. I don't even know, but those are exciting. Stuff like that is like very desirable, so I know that those will get like bids. Okay, should we look at the cameos? I am not an expert in cameos by any means. So if you guys see anything that is like, whoa, Rachel, <laughs> let's look at those, then let me know. Okay, this one. This one looks like an Avon, possibly. Um, because it looks like I have like a woman um, it's like a smoky glass. Okay, so 
Let's see if you guys can see. There is a woman and a child and birds and things like that carved into the glass. This is called Intaglio. I'm wondering if this is just glass. I will use my tester to see. Oh, interesting. So it's actually in the garnet tourmaline iolite, which is really weird because I was thinking it was either like rock quartz or smoky quartz or glass. So I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to research this more. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. Here are some buttons. Some cameo buttons blue. We have this cameo with rhinest rhinestones uh, buckle. There's nothing on the back. So I don't know what that is. We have these look like Avon. Yeah, there's the dot on the back. That means Avon. So Avon cameos definitely selling those. Yeah. Oh, these are sweet. Oh, these are so sweet. These are probably something. These look like real carved, yeah, carved sh shell. So these are some screwbacks. So a little bit older. Yeah, not clip-ons. And then what are they marked? They say 1 20th 12K gold filled. These are some nice little cameos. This one is a little bit more pale and they're both um, different. So they're not exactly the same, but I'm definitely going to still be selling these. These are so sweet. I love those. All right, what is this? This is not, I don't think this is a, no, this is a, not a carved shell cameo. This is like a faux and, but it's really pretty with the sparkling rhinestones. It's a necklace. It was made to look vintage. I will still sell that. <clears throat> Victorian Revival. That's what I will say. Okay, we have this one. Oh, this is a this is an old clasp. Look at this. Look at this clasp. So, I think this is like early 1900s, late 1800s kind of clasp. I'm looking to see if it's marked anywhere. I don't know. I think that this is not carved shell. But I think I still will sell this. That is nice. Is this another button? Okay, we have another button. Oh, this is glorious. Oh, this is beautiful. What is this? I don't even know. But it's like some kind of interesting color changing glass. And it has a little rhinestone dangle. And then look on the back. What is this? Does this slip onto a like a choker fabric or what what that's it's not a hair bobby pin what is this you guys tell me this is glorious love this going to list it okay we have this giant brass locket Ooh, this this looks old this one actually is carved as well and it's really nicely carved like look at how nice that is that's nice I don't see any marks on it. But this is a big cameo. Huh. Is it sterling? Oh, is it gold plated sterling? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Another, another one I don't know, but it's gorgeous. Okay. This one has been repaired. You can see the soldering on the back. Let's see. So it opens. And you can see the soldering all right there. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. This is another hand carved shell. Very, very, very nicely detailed. That's probably why someone got it fixed. It might have been a pendant as well because yeah, it, it's soldered and I don't know. So I'm going to put this as a maybe. And then lastly, we have the stick pin in there. And I like selling stick pins. So this one will be a yes. All right. These, I don't know. I don't know about the buttons and stuff. Okay. Let's open this one. 
might have to break this up into two parts because there are so many, but I'm just going to keep recording. So yeah, if you guys are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, <laughs> like button, subscribe button, all the things and join our Facebook group page. These clips are beautiful. These like the backs look old and then this bright blue and green, they look new. So that is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So stunning. Not marked. I don't even care. They are gorgeous. Just prong set loveliness. These are high quality. These, oh, these are West Germany beauties. These are going to bring a little bit more money than <laughs> regular clip-ons. <gasps> and these are the Givray glass. Are they glass? Wait, let's see. Yes! I think these are the Givray Oh, Okay, these are, these are getting more special as we look at them. Look at that. Wow. Pink. West Germany. Beautiful. Filigree. Lovely. Wow. Yes. So excited for that. Okay, next bag. Okay. These are some big statement clip-ons. Wow. Okay. Not marked, but look at these. Those would be so fun. These are statement earrings. That's for sure. Yes. Okay, what are, what are these domes? What, what in the what? <laughs> and they feel like they're really nice, like higher quality. What? I'm so confused. I don't, are they glass? Okay, I'm just gonna test on my gemstone tester. They're moving a little bit, so I'm thinking it's glass, but they're not that cold. I'm just so totally thrown off by these, honestly. <laughs> I have no idea. And then let's see, these, these feel like plastic, maybe? Okay, we're putting these in the maybe just because I'm not sure. I have no idea. Okay. Next. We have these hooks. They're very long. Yeah, long hooks. Ooh, but it does have a really nice rhinestone thing in there. Ooh, and there's like rhinestone around the outside. Prong set. Halo, there's one rhinestone missing in this one. Um, no rhinestones missing in this one. And we will see. We'll test this real quick. See if it's anything. Okay, so these are glass. These are glass. I'm going to put these in the maybe. They're really pretty though. Okay, we have these. These are, wow, smoky gray and sparkling. These do not have like Japan, Hong Kong, West Germany, nothing, but they are sparkling and beautiful. So I will, yes, those are yes. There are these. Wow, these are not marked either. Interesting. There's green and like a brassy or a Russian gold color. Yes, we have these faux pearl studs. There is a patent number <clears throat> on them and they are nicer with the twist and the clip. I don't know. I'm going to put these in the maybe. Okay, next. Okay, we have a big cuff. Are you marked? Ooh, no. And they're very, wow, okay. It probably would be adjustable, but <clears throat> let's see if it's magnetic. Yeah, all right, I'm putting that in craft. Ooh, what are you? Okay, so this is a double, double strand. This is marked Japan. Are these glass? Yeah, these are like really, really pretty amber colored glass. 
And then these are art paint splatter. <laughs> Gold paint, paint splatter, kidney bean, whatever, glass. But, oh, pretty. Love this. Yes, definitely listing that. Okay, we have... What are we looking at here? This one feels like aluminum or something. It's very lightweight. It says made in West Germany. That's why a lot of West Germany um, jewelry feels very lightweight. So, and then it has this clasp. Yeah, this is probably really old. And I'm just gonna put this off to the side because I don't even know what to think about it right now. I don't know if I'm going to put it with my chains or what. We have this Korea chain, a little bit more wear, very textured. Put that in craft. And then we have this green Lucite with a hook. And this one also is a Germany. So yeah, I think I will list this choker. That's fun. Okay, <clears throat> we have more. We have so much more. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video here and we are going to get it. I see some cinnabar. I see, oh my gosh, I have so much more to show you, but I'm going to keep going. So know that another part, oh, I see 1928. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed um, and hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys are out there thrifting so you guys can live generously and stay tuned for part two. Yay.